Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the Millermatic 211. So in this video, we're gonna cover just some, uh, the basic features of this unit. We're gonna go over what it comes with, and then uh, I'll show you some different features about this unit that we haven't gone over. Um, so this is a very popular machine, home hobby, um, garage guys that like to weld, work on race cars, that sort of thing, or motorbikes. Um, very, it's the perfect welder for that. Uh, so the 211 fits uh, an 11 pound spool or a two pound spool. Uh, it's, so it fits the smaller spools, but it will we'll turn on here. I got it plugged in the 220, so some statistics on this thing. We'll turn this on so that you notice it's not an LCD screen or a digital display or anything like that. So it's, it's more of a, a the more basic units, but what we do have, we can run flux cord self-shielded, uh, MIG stainless steel, MIG steel on 7525, MIG steel on 100% CO2, and then we can also put a spool gun. So the spool bank 100 or 150 will fit this unit so we can go to aluminum welding. Pretty nice, so duty cycles on this machine. On 110, it's 20% duty cycle, and then on 220, it's a 40% duty cycle. And I think it's 150 amps on that 40% duty cycle. But this unit on 110 will weld up to 316s. A steel and then on 220 it welds up to 3 8 but as you know if you get into any multi or heavier gauge you can you, not saying you could weld over 3 8 but you'd have to multi-pass weld that so just flip the machine around here this is the access door flip that open on the inside Miller has their, their really nice sticker that they put on the inside gives you some parameters um, suggestions and just basic setup with the change and how everything works uh, very nice, always a helpful guide if you can't remember or, or you just need to change metals or something along those lines, great thing. So another thing that I wanted to point out, this is the ground cable. So it comes coiled up inside. So what you gotta do is just feed that through the front. And then in the box it came with a ground clamp. You're gonna have to assemble that, not a big deal. Very simple to do. And I'll show you here as we're going through this. You just gotta pull that Ground all the way out. And then on the inside, you can see this is where your spool goes. Lock your spool in. And then also, everyone always looks for this, but that's the 110 adapter. Always in the back left hand corner when you open that up. And then it'll also fit the 220 adapter, which I have on the cord right now. We'll grab this ground clamp. So on the ground clamp, comes with a quarter inch nut here. I got a wrench for it. Pop that off there. I'll show you how to feed that through. So this, this unit, you're gonna take that off. And I feed the ground clamp through the hole in the handle because it's a, basically it's a strain relief for this. So you come up through the bottom. And make sure you kind of keep that, and you see I'm facing that down, it's because that, it's actually a bolt in there and then Basically, you just reassemble it back together. Washer, lock washer, and then nut, and I just tighten that down. Very, very simple to do. Nothing major needed, but then there you go. So you got a little strain relief. So if you were to put it right over the top, this would have looped down. So it kind of keeps it in line. Pretty nice ground clamp for the unit. So we got that assembled. So on the inside, you can see your drive roll system. So this is a one drive roll wheel there's your tensioner so this is going to give you some pointers on what to set the tension at but it goes one through four and obviously the, the more i screw it down the tighter the tension gets on that wheel but I pop it up, it's spring loaded so it pops up the idler roller and then to change wire size or go to flux core you just push in and turn and see it's a one drive roll so it's going to show you and that comes right off there if you ever have to change it and then you just change where you want and it's 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 indexing that in and out to show you you know so if you change wire diameter or go to flux score pretty unique system i i like it because it's just one wheel instead of two and it's simple for what the machine is it's it's perfect and it works out good so we're gonna close that back up this is your gun your gun tension or, or uh clamping piece so when i stick the gun, mig gun in there i'll show that too so when that MIG gun comes, it just has a protective cover on the back. And we feed that through the front. 
make sure it seats all the way in, and then we just tighten that up. So now the MIG gun's locked in there. On the on this unit, what we have to do, and I, I can do it, you feed that trigger switch through the bottom, and that just plugs in right below the drive roll power block. And it just pushes in, and it's a really quick twist, so it locks in there. Tuck that cord in, and then you're ready to go. Lock this down. So, another nice feature about this unit, it comes with auto set. So, it, you'll get a metal gauge in your box, and it shows you has a certain thicknesses set out. But say I wanted to weld, you know, you didn't know what voltage would be at or what wire feed speed, but I wanted to weld, you know, 20, or we'll go to, we're on auto set. So, see when the blue light's on. We're telling it we have 0, 035, or there's 035 wire, auto sets on, and you don't know voltage and wire feed speed, you're not familiar with it, but you know you got 16 gauge material. You're gonna turn the knob to 16 gauge, and what it does is it reconfigures wire feed and voltage and auto sets for that material thickness. So you should get a pretty clean weld just off the auto set function. Now. I've heard people say, well, I, I don't need auto set. I just want to go back to normal. Well, then what you'd do is you'd flip out of that. You notice the auto set light goes off. Now we're just back to our voltage gauge and then our wire feed speed. So then you're back into manual mode, essentially. And it, and it works well along the lines of that. But what I like about auto set is you kind of set it and you don't have to worry. You just think, okay, I got eighth inch. It's going to give you a cool or nice crisp short arc running this 211. Now, um, going towards the MIG gun here, this, this 211 comes with a uh, the, the new MDX gun with AccuLock consumables in it. Um, I don't have a tip in there, but you know, your diffuser, your nozzle, and then it comes with uh, some tips inside the bag. But pretty nice gun. It's a little bit different than the older style. Um, but I do like it. They put a ball on there, so it kind of gives it a little bit of rotation when you're when you're welding in odd positions. Um, but what I do like about these units, and I weld it a lot on uh, sheet metal on vehicles or thin gauge material on ductwork with them, and they weld very nice at lower end settings. So if you're on thinner gauge material, it's, it's very nice, very crisp, um, short arc, and they work well. But all in all, great machine, and for the price point, um, you can't really beat it. It's it's tried and true. So there is three-year warranty on this unit, um, and they're assembled in Appleton, Wisconsin. So all, all American and awesome units. So please, if you got any questions or comments, leave them down below, and we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for some more.